I'm James. I'm Charlie. And I'm Toby. We're the Sons of WB and Sons. And welcome to our October sale, 23. We've got 160 lots of cars, bikes, plates. We're going to have a bit of a wander around, have a chat, have a look at what we've got. Uh, we're going to start off with this lovely 996 Porsche Turbo here. It's a manual car with the hollow alloy wheels on it. Uh, really, really good service history. It's had all the money spent on it. Uh, it's a proper driver's car, that one. Four wheel drive, two turbos, manual. Manual. History's huge. 500 horsepower. And best colour for me. Can you go any quicker from A to B for under 30 grand? Don't think so, no. Definitely not. Yeah, like that one. I like these second gen X XKs as well. We've, this is the first one we've had in a long time. Yeah, they're really good value for money at the minute as well. Uh, you see them on really high miles as well. This one's not done the miles. Uh, lovely car, really nice colours as well. Uh, a fresh looking thing for an 07. Yeah. Two owners. Two owners. Good service book. Yeah. Very, very fresh for an, uh, an 07 and sort of staying in that theme of things. Working our way down onto the X. Aston Martin DB7, V12 automatic this one uh, in Cheltenham Green. Yeah. With the, the right and colour interior as well, so that's a bit of a comparison for them. And again, they're coming back around now a little bit. They were they were cheap for a long time. Yeah. Those later V12s, I think, look so much better. They've got the nicer wheels. They've got the bigger fog lights rather than those little slit yeah. ones, yeah. which I think look so much better. And the interiors are nice. Those two-tone interiors are so much better. They're just good value for money, aren't they? Yeah. And if you're gonna have if you're gonna have a big Aston, it's got to have a V12, isn't it? Uh -huh. But basically, the same car underneath, bigger engine, prettier. Maybe. 6 litre V12 XJS. Quite rare with it being the 6 litre, with it being a later car. You've got to remember it's on the M this one, so it is a later car. Later model XJS one, it is the 6 litre V12. Uh, I think that's. Uh, when was the last time you saw one with bodywork like that, though? No, one of the best ones we've had with bodywork uh, off an XJS for a long time. All the arches are lovely, put your hands in the arches, they're lovely and tidy all the way around. So, that again, great value for money. Very, very usable as a daily driver, though. It's very, very usable as a daily driver. XJS, it's straight down the side. Yeah, and the only thing I'd change, I know you're not allowed to, and we're going to get told off, is I'd go American twin lamps. But I know you don't like that. But. No, a proper straight honest car, that one. Really, really nice car. Yeah, Owen has had it for a long time. History files like that as well, isn't is it? it? Yeah, really good. Really, really good. We've got a lovely. Oh, this one. Mercedes yeah. SL, this is a 350 V8, this car. It's going to need some welding. It is a project. It runs, it starts, it stops. We've driven it around the yard. Uh, but it is going to need some welding, this one. But it's no reserve, so it's here to be sold. And I'm not being funny at the price of these these things. The parts alone on this car are well worth the money. You know, a decent set of bumpers. I haven't seen bumpers like that for a long time. We know it's going to need some welding. Roof's not bad. And TV needs a little bit of love. But it is the 350 V8, that one as well. Yeah, so it's the smallest V8, but actually it's, that's the nice one the 500s are quite heavy i like the colors as well white on blue yeah. good color schemes an SL, can it? but again for no reserve it, it could it could be a very very cheap way into an slo and no these did take a dip last year but they seem to have come back round again all, all singing all dance that's a 15 20 grand car yeah i think it's so as well do less than that and at least it's a problem with v8 and it runs and drives so you don't have to push it because they're not like can't yeah. go wrong really can you your favorites MGTF, MGF. These are great values for money. I've got, we've got an MGTF here. That's a 1.6 petrol, this one. And we've got the MGF, which was the earlier model, and that's a 1.8. Again, that one comes with the hard top. The soft top's lovely. Really rare with it being white as well. And then we've got a nice silver MGTF. These things are just, you know, they never do big money. The, you're, you're never happier than when the, you're in they're MGF. cheap, they're lovely, you can go and enjoy that car for a British year. sports car, you call yeah, them? They are sports car, cars. British, British, British sports it's mid-engined. You're not going to make fortunes on it, but you can use that for a year and get your money back, and that's what I like about them, because they are I've seen you value. try and compare these to a Ferrari 355, <laughs> I've seen you do it. <laughs> but, proper British sports car. 5 litre, angry V8, no traction control, no power steering, might kill you. Mm. We're talking about that. Does engine. it make any better noise for the money? The fact that it's a 5 litre, I don't think there is anything in here that sounds as good as that car does. And we've had plenty of uh, 400s through the other model variants to this, but the 5 litre for me is the, is the one. Yeah. And again, a very drivable car. It's not mint, it's very nice. There's a few stone chips on the front end and it's good for a, it's good for a B road blast, that one. Yeah. Current owner uses it, car club, uh, TVR club member. Nice yeah. history file. Well really good history file yeah, on that one really as well. well after. TVR with no history is a scary purchase, but I looked after one. It's great, brilliant, especially the V8 cars. Going from one sports car to another. This hand figure roll. 
1991 Nissan Figaro. These are basically based on a micro underneath and I believe they were designed solely for women as well, which is nice. Uh, they're a 998cc turbo petrol automatic. Really, yeah, yeah, turbo, yeah, yeah. really reliable. The came, I think it was, was it five different colours? Four, five different colours? Four. I'm sure it's uh, four. James fact checked it. So usable, these things, and again, really good following on them. Uh, and and again, you can get loads of parts. There's that guy down south that only does Figaro parts, and everything else is micro. Yeah, yeah, lovely little things. But if you want quirky. Yeah. yeah that's that it. might be my favourite thing we've got in here. Well, I've not, this is the first time I've seen one. This is the first time we've had one through our sales. It's the first time I've ever seen one. The suspension works lovely on it. You start it up, the suspension goes up and down. It's lovely and comfy inside. It's a great colour. It is custard. It's custard, isn't it? I'm not in any custard that you've made. <laughs> why? You put too much powder in it. Do you know why you haven't seen any? Why? There's three left on the UK roads. Well, there you go. Three. One of three. Lovely thing. I got confused when you said there was a Citroen GSX coming in. I didn't know they made bikes. How long did it take you to work out how to open the boot? Good 20 minutes. Shall we have a look at how the boot opens? Just so we can at least then make you look a little less. And it's a one stoke steering wheel. One spoke steering wheel. The stereo is down the side. The old school Citroen seat belt. And the weirdest boot. You have to come and have a look because otherwise it just sounds insane. But Charlie, how did you try and open the boot first time? Come on, show me. Well, obviously, I pressed the button like a normal normal person would. I presume it opened there because if you button? look at that, the boot button there, yeah, you would think the glass opened. And how did I open it? Exactly the same as we oh, I did as well. Like. That's good, that, isn't it? Loads of space in there. Alpina, it's an S. We haven't got long enough for me to talk about an Alpina. No. Well, if you don't like Alpinas, we can't be friends. But is that why you got the very little friend? E thirty nine. Best 5 series ever produced, oh. any form. It's one of the prettiest 5 series. One of six? Yeah, but they, so they did a V8, which was the standard car, yeah. which was based on the normal Beamer engine. And then they did a V8S, which is this one. So that is effectively the same worked engine that was in the Z8. That really nice sports car. Which is red. Yeah, bigger brakes, best better suspension. Ever, ever. Alpina wheels are the best wheels on a BMW, especially when it's a proper Alpina. Real Alpina wheels. Real Alpina wheels. Yeah. Not the fake ones, Lovely proper ones. Again, books. Plenty of stamps in the book on that one. Lovely driver, sort of ready to be, ready to be enjoyed that, isn't it? When a leggy 39M5 is 20 grand now. 10, 12 for the Alpina, which is, you're not going to find another one. No, it's, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's an absolute steal. It's very under big understated. Big saloon cars. It's, well, same engine. Oh, yeah. BMW 4.4 V8. Bentley and uh, on a T-Reg, this one. 31,000 miles on it. It's in blue, black. And again, a load of value for the money. This one being a 4.4 BMW engine. They're twin turbo, these ones. Yep. And again, we, we, sell, we sell one of these every time. Chrome grill, chrome wheels. TVs in the back with the leather little leather pouches that go over the top. That's a nice touch. Thirty-one thousand, yeah. Thirty-one thousand. Yeah. Really nice. Wheels. There's not many cars can get away with the chrome grill and the chrome chrome wheels in the nineties on Arch can. Yeah. But better than that with more chrome. F favorite car in the auction? I think so. A Pagoda by any chance? You can't talk because you don't like them. I don't like them. Do you know what he, you know what he said about them the other day? Isn't that ugly? Yes. Go to the back end. But that's why you've got a mullet. Mercedes yeah. There's no no one with a mullet has ever driven a Pagoda SR. I've still looked good in it though. No. Yeah. Factory UK car. Sorry, UK supplied from you. Factory right hand drive with the hard top. Best colour combo, cream with I think so, yeah. Black. Yeah. The prettiest steering wheel ever fitted to a car. Green. Yeah. You do pay a lot more money for the two eighties. 230 is all you need, neither of them are quick. No, Drives beautifully. Cool. Bad gearbox is lovely as well. Yeah. Nice traceable history on it, soft top's good. Bang on on the guide price, really, really nice car. Yeah, good value again. Yeah. Again, and it's quality sells, and, and this car is, is really quality, isn't it? And we got to learn something about our youngest brother. Yes. Mm. I'm always right. No. Right. Weird ball, Fiera. Ferrari. Oh, it's not a Ferrari. You can't have that. Again, fortune spent on it. It's been converted to right-hand drive, this one. I started it the other day, and we, I didn't even turn the key all the way, and it fired into life, this one. And, it was out there for about five and again, had an absolute fortune spent on it. Quite a quirky thing. You don't see many of them. 
uh, and I know some people hate them. And the, the majority of ones we've ever seen have got a stupid we've Ferrari. Like they've got a Ferrari body kit on them, and it just doesn't work. As a, a nice standard, usable American car in the UK, that's right-hand drive. It's manual. It's sort of an American MR2, isn't it? Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Compared to an MR2, I think it's a better car. You all think I'm wrong. That's You're going to get that, like, That's so wrong. <laughs> but to be fair, we've driven a few left to right conversion cars that weren't meant to be and works. they're normally awful it works absolutely it just feels factory it's really really good yeah. someone spent a lot of time and money on that I car been converted until you told me yeah really really cool bmw e30 this is a touring 318 again lovely lovely car excellent daily drivers pretty still even now as a touring i think they look better as a touring than they did as a, a conversion model this is an injection, it's an injection model is it yep right it's a lux Leather, so leather. Leather. Manual, lovely, in red. I don't know what what more you want as a family as a family estate car. It's perfect. Affordable fast forward, so you could easily daily drive that. Yep. Good yeah. mileage. Two owners. Two owners, yeah. Uh, just, just under fifty eight thousand miles. Best colour. Best colour. Orange seats. Orange seats, yeah, the seats are lovely, the seats are lovely on there, those Recaros, they've got minimal wear really to them, and again, really good value for money, I know we keep saying value for money, but it, but it is, isn't it? If you look after that, They're going up. you're not losing a penny on it no, in five years, eh? And, I think this is probably the first one we've had in that hasn't been modified, it's not got an exhaust, no ECU box, no nothing. It's got lacquer on the roof. The last one we had had no lagger. So see, we've got a bit of moisture in the headlight there, but it comes with two replacement units, which is nice to see. You know, the thought about it, yeah, it does spoil the front end of the car. Replacement units are there with it as well. Bit of an order, Ford. Yeah, really nice one. This UK car. Uh, it's, well, that's what. Yeah. MT seventy-five. MT seventy-five gearbox conversion. So that's they've got rid of that Type Nine. It's 2.8, right? 2.8, 2 .8, 2 .8, four-wheel drive. drive. It's got the that gearbox conversion is really sought after. Uh, Cosworth prop shaft. Right. Um, and then you learned something about stamps on bottom arms. Still got the original stamps on the bottom arms. So it's still got the date stamp and the 4 before stamp on the rear arm on this car. On Had a, a recent MOT. A year old Ford. It's still got stamp. Exactly. Yeah. A UK car as well. But, and it's not very often I'd say this, I'd go Vox all over Ford in this case, because that SRI we've got is... Amazing. I, I love it. I've just gone, well it's got, it's got Checky Recaros in it, it's gold. I've just gone through the history file to write the description for it. It's been with the same owner since the 90s. We've got the original bill of sale, we've got the original service book, the history file is like that. It's just the colour scheme, we've got gold with those Czech Recaros. It's just so, it's so 1980s, it works, it's well, it's come back around, it looks right for the age. Lovely, lovely, honest again, honest driving car. A little bit of paintwork's not 100% concourse, there's, there's a few little bits, but so it makes sure it a lot more usable. Little, yeah, you could take that down the local show, you'd be happy with that. Very and you can happily drive it every day. Yeah. And it has the best feature I've ever seen. Oh, it's right. got one heated seat. What? The driver gets a heated seat, nobody else. He's paid for the car, why is he paying the heated seat? I'm on board with that. Of low mileage, good things. This MG here. ZS 180. Sunspot yellow, uh, really low mileage, 38,000 miles. Uh, 2.5 V6 this one as well. Yeah, it's just had 1,400 quid spent on it, it's had belts, it's had major service, everything done to it. Uh, really, for me, really nice car. We had a ZR last year, didn't we, low mileage? Yeah. Um, did really well there. They're pretty, pretty interesting things. The colour makes it for me, the colour's really cool and big wing. Colour coded seats. Yeah, yellow seats, that's pretty awesome. But again, sort of slightly family-ish, hatch, saloon, big wing, based on a standard car. Focus RS Mark II, I think is a really cool car. Good colours, lovely colour, love this colour. Again, low mileage as well on 39,000 miles on this one, so really, really good mileage uh, for Focus RS. Yeah. Completely bog standard as well, which is nice to see. No modifications on this one, all nice and standard, not being messed around with. And again, so going up in value a little bit. Current owners had it seven years, like you say, not modified. Um, and actually, whereas the Mark 1s were all very special and they, they are climbing quite quickly now, these to drive are next level, I think. These yeah. are really good fun. They come around, around yeah. again. Uh, can get Ford themed? We're stepping it up a gear a bit. Yeah, we are a little bit. Yeah, fair enough. 
So actually researching this car was kind of interesting. I didn't realise how rare this car, this colour is. Polaris grey. Polaris grey, yeah. Um, obviously the first big turbos, most of them are white. A little bit modified, race line wheels. Uh, yeah. The wheels. Morette. Morette headlights, which if you're our age, double cool. Yeah. Um, dump valve, which again is easy enough to remove, but... Leather. It's, you know, it's pretty standard other than that. They're all easy. If you don't like the wheels, don't like the lights, you take them off, you probably make a profit. You can get the standard wheels for about 600 quid. I like the wheels. I, like the wheels. I, I wouldn't change them. Um, Condition-wise, I think I rang you and said, this thing's really good, and you like to come and pull it apart and pick, tell me why I'm wrong. Couldn't find a mark on it, can we? No. The seats are fantastic. It's just uh, six years ago. It's had an engine out rebuild. Bottom end a lot. Good History issue. files like that. Yeah. You've driven it down the road. Fantastic. Caught my car for the... Yeah, really, really good. By far my favourite one in the sale In the interest of fairness, because you can't mention one without the other, you've got to mention Vauxhalls as much as you do Fords or we'll get barred from YouTube, right? Yeah. Vauxhall Astra GTE 16 valve this one. It's uh, one family owner from you. I think it was... It was so it, it, the story's awesome. So it's it's a late car. It's on a J. It's a ninety one. So two months later they were delivering the GSI. So Mark three. Um, guy had an identical car. He had new for old insurance on it. They broke into his house, fed his dog ice cream, and nicked the car. The dealers in Bolden, whose stickers are still there, had to source this. He got offered a GSI and said, "No, I want a, I want a Mark II the same as what I had." You can see why. Yeah, and the insurance company said, that's fine, paid out for the car, but it has to be de-locked, so it's de-locked, which the dealers did, and it has to have an immobiliser, which it still has, and it's got the fobs, and it has, to, on it as well. yeah, and it has to have a steering lock, which is still in the boot. He then barely used the car because he was worried about it getting stolen. Mm -hmm. He's then left it to his daughter, who again barely used the car, but they've kept up the paperwork, they've kept up the servicing. It's beyond clean, isn't it? It's the, uh, it's the best. Well, the rear yeah. arches are lovely. It's a red top with still all the paint on the rock cover. Yeah. And it hasn't got any holes in the airbox. It's, it's the best Astra I've ever seen. But it, it has done the miles. The miles, you know, if you look at this car, you know this mileage is correct straight away. Yeah. Even from the doorway, yeah. from from yeah. 20 feet away, you know it's right. The inner arches, inner wings, everything, just, it's just so clean and tidy. The only thing, so I did the walk around and went down, that was 20 yeah. minutes long. And the only thing I can pick up for is if just there, there is a slightly faded bit of paint because the garage has a sunlight in it. Right. And that's it, and I'm still fairly sure that'll polish out. I mean, you're not going to find a better one. No, definitely You aren't, not. genuinely. Not. It's the right colour, it's the right engine, the history's amazing. It's a steal. Should we go back forwards? <laughs> you're going to get us kicked off. Go on, let's go back forwards. Go on then. Right, we've got a flare side. You do like a flare side, I'll give you that like. It goes over my head, doesn't it? Again, Again, lovely condition, arches are lovely all the way around, no rot coming through there. Just a nice, honest Ford flare side. You'd happily drive that every day, wouldn't you? Under 100,000 miles, lovely, hand painted livery on. Is a flare side yeah. the Ford Transit mullet? <laughs> well, business in the front, party in the back. Party in the back. And I look good, that looks good. The Transit looks good. <laughs> No, which was the transit? Okay. Opposite end of the spectrum. I didn't really understand the hype on a Series 1 at least. Everyone goes, oh, best British sports car the last best 20 one. years. Type 49. Uh, then I drove this one and I will accept yes. it. Can you get in? I can get in if I take the steering wheel off. It's a snap off steering wheel. You can get in, but you can't get out. No, so. If somebody gets to the shop, I would take away. Yeah. <laughs> but 118 brake horsepower doesn't sound enough. They don't, K yeah. series doesn't sound up to it. Yeah. Same as what's in the MG over there. But ge genuinely, you, you, it's one of those cars that people knock them. I'll, I'll fight forever on how good they are now. I agree. I just want to see you get in. It's not going to happen. We'll do it off camera. What about this? The Austin 7? Got three of these. Three Austin 7s in in this next sale. This one is 1934. So it's about the same age as Dad, yeah? Mm. <laughs> no, they drove down home from the hospital, <laughs> um, Again, 
two years ago, you know, we, we would sort of hum and horror about these, but the last sort of year and a bit, yeah. uh, very sellable, and uh, they are very usable, they're easy to work on, they're cool. easy to drive, they've come back around, like I say, we've got three in our sale, we've got this one, uh, a Ruby and another Austin 7, and again, yeah, two, two box saloons, two box saloons and one Ruby, and again, they've just come back around, they're, they, you know, they're the lovely little fillers, they're showroom fillers as well, you've got a lot of car garages, one of these is sat in the corner, because it yeah. takes up no space, you know it's going to start, and they're just they're very easy for the for the local classic it shows. Probably only a handful of cars, I think, at a, at a, cl- a, gen- a proper classic show, not a club show, where you can rock up. So you rock up in a Lotus. Some people like it, some people don't. Lock, frog Eye, whatever. A Beetle, a Mini, and an Austin Seven. You rock up in those. Everybody's happy. It's just it's brum, isn't it? It's yeah. After the black one for a driver, everyone was beeping and waving at me. That's because you were queuing them up behind you. Blowing every little things. Yeah, yeah, really cool. Lancerbita? Yeah. Yeah. Not it's a not rusty Lancerbita. Rusty Lancerbita. Yeah. And it's not red. It's and not red. It's not red. It runs brilliantly. The interior is lovely. The guys owned it for a long, long yeah, time. Long term ownership. And again, lovely. Again, such a usable car. We've had one of these, I think, in since we've been going. One, what have we had? We've had one yeah. I think we've had one. One, then. yeah, the red one. So this red. is the second one we've had. And again, pretty car. I like them. I know some people think they're ugly, but I think they're pretty from most angles. Yeah. Typical Lancia. Another cool, another cool little Little Alpha Spider. Uh, uh, yeah. Fiat. Do you call it an Alpha there? Well, it's red. Ooh. Ooh. It was. It's a weird. Car, it's a Fiat 850 Spider. We found. We can't prove it yet, but we found loads of a bath bits on it. There's a plaque on the engine bay if you want to come have a look. We've got a plaque here. There's a bath stamped. Timing covers a bath. All the, the bits and pieces over it. It's got studded tyres on, which means you know. Yeah. Winter use. Should you not come around this side? It's, 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 yeah, it's had a small boo boo. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it was. It'll polish out. Yeah, so it was parked in a storage facility next to another storage facility. They got a little bit crispy. Um, it, the heat's managed to melt the paint on this side, but strangely hasn't damaged the hood, hasn't damaged the it's glass. The it's caught the wing mirror slightly. Hasn't touched the chrome wing. But I, I, I don't understand how something gets so hot that it burns that, but the tyre's fine. That doesn't make any sense to me. But it runs, it sounds it excellent. It makes it even worse. I would leave it like that. Yeah, you restore that side, I leave would, the cell. Just leave it down the middle. Yeah. I'd be waiting for the snow. These studded tyres, I know they're a little bit old, but I'd be waiting for the snow. And I would definitely be making a mess on your nice shiny floor. So, shall we put your Range Rover in as a late entry and you're going to drive this to the winter, eh? I'll drive that. Hang on. It's got no heated seats. Oh, you're not getting it. No, yeah, he's too posh, that. isn't he? We've got a Can we talk about minis? I know you oh, go on, don't. You're going to waffle about minis, but we'll do it dead quick. Low mileage Cooper Sport. 8,000. Did I get that right? That's no. The, that's low mileage and that's a Cooper Sport. We said it together. That's too quick. low mileage as well. 8,000 mile from New Mini Mayfair. And a. Very late. Very late. Cooper Sport, so it's the silver stripe. We might as well leave this because yeah. he's a mini. He's going to talk all day. Go on, you, you finish off the minis. Silver seats. Co- proper Cooper Sport. Um, 27,000 miles, low owners, if you're going to get a late injection mini. One owner from you, 8,000 miles. Snazzy arches and stripes. <laughs> I like minis because James fits in them. Is it, can you call it a hot hatch? Yeah. Can you though? Yeah. Doesn't have a hatchback. Oh, true. They do. You can't call that a hot hatch. Can you? Hot hatch. There we go. That's smooth segue. Smooth, is that what that Smooth was? segue. 205 GTI, 205 GTI, 1.9 and a 1.6. Miami Blue. Best colour? No. Mm, up there. Up there. It's up there. Uh, so we've got both of them in there. Two two variants. Controversial opinion though, I go 1.6 over a 1.9. I agree. Revier. You, you like a 1.9 because you've got lift off over steering, you can skid round around about like a child. When I, whenever you see a 205 driving down the road, that's the first thing you look at. You want to see what's on the back when it says 19 or 16. If it says 16, I go, yeah, okay. If it's 19, I'm following it because I'm in love with it. 19s are just, they're just, be- that's not an argument. More power to drive better. <laughs> yeah, I think that's maybe, what you're going for. Maybe we can do more with 16. Yeah. Six, We're, okay. Yeah. How about this for a smooth segue? I'll kind of do it. What's a smooth segue? <laughs> Uh, BMW Z3M Dakar yellow. Yep, Dakar yellow. Dakar yeah. yellow with some black bits on it. Uh, you, what the wheel? AC Schnitzer bits oh, on it. Can't pronounce uh, it. Can you say black accents? Black uh, black bits. AC 
Snitcher. I'm not. I'm not oh, pronouncing right. that. We'll be here all day. What? Again, the clown shoe with what bit on it? EC Schnitzer. There you are. I nailed that there, didn't I? I nailed that. You'll have to edit that bit out. Might be language. It is so ugly. It's cool. I think it's so cool. So cool. Bread van, clown shoe, whatever you want to call it. Anything with wheels that wide on the back so and an M engine. They have been going up quite quickly. They took a little dip so last year. Round, I think no. when they came out, they weren't too successful. And a Dakar yellow one. You see plenty of blue ones. You think that's bad? Dad had one on order when they were brand new and cancelled it because it was too slow. Too slow? Too slow. Uh, he kept yeah. his 911. Bad driver. Needs a bigger yeah. engine. Keeping the M cars going. M3. V8. Is that the only shape BMW looks better with more doors? It's definitely better more doors. a saloon car, it looks excellent. And, and it's a V8 and, and it's manual. With, with red, black on red, manual. It's carbon Schwartz black with the dark red interior. So what, just dark red, not oxygen? I can't remember. Oh, um, it it's lovely, it's had everything done, it's had the throttle bodies done because that's the important bit. Right. Uh, service history is good. Manual V8, black on red, that's all we need to say, isn't it? Yeah. That's all we need to say. Coolest car in the school car park. Big coupés. Right, I, I want to argue with you on this one because I think you and me might disagree. Why? So, massive, over £100,000 super coupés. Yeah. Which one do you choose? That GT. You're wrong. He's not. <laughs> He's not. Why? Value for money wise, the Mercs have come back up again. They're still at half the price, faster, more reliable, equally as expensive when it breaks. Yes, but what you're saying is it's, sort of, it's, it's a similar money, it's similar money to Merc or Bentley. I'm taking the Bentley anyway. Again, two very usable, big, big coupes, big engines. I'm going with the Bentley. I think value, they are so good value for money. What's on this? Radar guided cruise in there? No. Massage seats? You don't need cruise. Oh, hang on, we've got massage seats. Yeah. It's got a bet it's got a Bentley barge. No. Oh. Super supercharger. No. <laughs> We're going for the Merc. TV. There's two turbos in that though. Two turbos outweigh one supercharger. More to go More wrong. wrong. Oh, How much is the you're wrong. It doesn't matter. These are these are these are these are cheap. They are good value for money. There is plenty floating around there, I know. Dad, how cheap is it to run a Continental GT? Not very. <laughs> there you are. We use it sparingly, it's a weekend car. I got sold on the massage seats. Yeah. But for comfort and coolness. Like me. No. Moss Green Range Rover. Is that the only car in here we all agree on? Moss yes. Green. Soft dash, so it's a later model soft, soft dash, 3.9 EFI, which I'm going to go out there and say to me was the best. I don't like the 3.5, that's a personal opinion, so please don't go mad at us. But the 3.9 EFI soft dash for me is the one. The fact that the rear seats have got armrests on each side as well, I'd be sat in the back, I'd make you drive around in it, and you can put the fuel in. Happy days. Oh, I'm going to put the fuel in. Put more screen, best color. Yeah, uh, that's probably the only thing we've ever agreed on. Yeah. So Mark 1 Transit, factory windows, started to convert it into a camper van. This is quite comfortable, isn't it? Diesel engine, which the guy drove us the mechanics to me, and then we picked it up from there, and currently isn't running. The engine trains over, no bother. But I think we'll just pop this on the driveway. We need to our dinners, and yeah, TV in there. There could be a new staff of beach room. Yeah. And, best bit, right? <laughs> You're driving. And now we can talk about things properly, can't we? Being that it's October, we've got less bikes than we normally do. It's October. Um, a couple that I think are definitely worth a mention. That BMW is immaculate. It's 9,000 9, 9, miles. Yeah. I did the video on that, and the underside and everything on that is as it looks, as clean as it good is. Yeah, 9,000 miles, which is a touring bike. It's meant to do big mileage. Those beamers with the, the, the valves sticking out of the side look awesome. Well, the head sticking out of the side. It's better than that. Yeah. Honda, Honda Cub. Cub. Is that because best selling vehicle of all time? It's Honda just my Cub. size, isn't it? It's about as quick as I'd want to go on a on a on a motorbike moped, whatever you want to call it. You'll still hit yourself. It's Probably step I through. step yeah. through, step way, step through, sorry. Well you could put that in the back of your flare side. Oh, that would look good, wouldn't it? Step through in a flare side. Yep. Lovely little thing that. But and again I think we actually agree on this as well. The best bike we've got in here no way oh, is that Triton. incredibly shiny Triton. Two schools of thoughts. Oh, it's not original. 
It's too nice to use. Well, I think it was because he's done more miles than this since the vendor bought it. Yeah, it's done 505 miles. He bought, it on, he bought it on 504 miles. So, Norton Frame, Triumph Engine, Pro sexy. Proper cafe racer. Very, very See, nice. the problem is that, that that I have with this is what I'd want to do with that is I'd want to buy it and just stare at it. I wouldn't want to go on it. I just want to look at it. You kitchen, you could put it in there. Yeah, we could yeah, do. Glass do table. It. That's what I'd want to do. I just want to look just at close it. Close it. You know your body weight. Have you seen a better black tank? Delicious. Absolutely. I'd love it. Black tank. Well, the exhaust has just gone a little bit blue there, and it just I would just leave it like that. I wouldn't. That's you know, yeah. just to stare at. Okay. Yeah. 161 lots in our October sale. If you have a look on the website, all the details are on there. We've only just done a sort of a handful of what we've got going on at the minute. We're just so busy at the minute. So if you have a look on the website, there's 160 lots in there for October. This is 2023. Yeah. I think that's and about. Someone's doing the first 50 lots. Yes, I'll be doing the you first 50 lots as auctioneer in training. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah, that's going to be good. Yeah. Um, obviously we've got a Sunday club coming up and we do those before every auction so we're open here every day apart from Sundays normally the Sunday before the auction we do our Sunday club car meet cafes open really good day out you can come and have a look at everything that's here or you can come any day you want but again it's not a local business UK rest of the world if you want photos videos a video call a four-hour phone call about why an MGF is different from a TF I can do that ring Charlie um, <laughs> Yeah, but check out the website, have a look at the catalogue, you can bid online, you can bid in person still, which again not a lot of people are doing that these days, and you can bid by telephone or by proxy. Any questions at all, yeah. get in touch. Dad's going to do it a little bit. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, let us know. If you hate it, you'll let, let us know anyway. Let Toby know. <laughs> Hi, well you've met the boys and you watched the video and I'd like to thank you all for your time and attention and I'd like to thank all of the car fanatics in the North East for their kind support. Thank you and goodbye.